Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. This is part 35 of Tafsir al-Sadi. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. Inna al-ladhina yaktumuna ma anzala Allahu min al-kitabi wa yashtaruna bihi thamanan qalilan ulaik. Ulaik ma yakuluna fi butunihim illa al-nar. Wala yukallimuhum Allahu yawm al-qiyamati wa la yuzakkihim. Walahum a'adhabun alim. Those who conceal what Allah has sent down of the book and sell it for a small price, take nothing into their bellies but fire. Allah will not speak to them on the day of resurrection, nor will he purify them, and theirs will be a painful punishment. They are the ones who have traded guidance for misguidance and forgiveness for punishment. What can make them patient in facing the fire? ذَلِكَ بِأَنَّ اللَّهَ نَزَّلَ الْكِتَابَ بِالْحَقَّ وَإِنَّ الَّذِينَ اخْتَلَفُوا فِي الْكِتَابِ لَفِي شِقَاقٍ بَعِيدٍ That is because Allah sent down the book that is because Allah sent down the book in truth. Those who find a cause of disagreement in the book go much too far in opposition. Those who find a cause of disagreement in the book go much too far in opposition. This is a stern warning addressed to those who conceal that which Allah sent down to his messengers, the knowledge concerning which Allah had taken a covenant from them that they would disclose it to the people and not conceal it. Those who use it for worldly gain and neglect the command of Allah. Take nothing into their bellies but fire. That is because the price they gain is only acquired in the worst and most emphatically forbidden manner. Thus, their punishment will fit the nature of their deeds. وَلَا يُكَلِّمُهُمُ اللَّهُ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ وَلَا يُزَكِّيهِمْ Allah will not speak to them on the day of resurrection. Rather, He will be angry with them and will turn away from them. This is a more painful punishment. This is a more painful punishment for them than the punishment of hellfire. Nor will He purify him nor will he purify them. That is, he will not purify them of bad characteristics. And they have no good deeds to their credit for which they might deserve praise, approval, and reward. And they have no good deeds to their credit for which they might deserve praise, approval, or reward. Rather, he will not purify them because their actions deprive them of any purification the most important means of attaining, which is acting in accordance with the Book of Allah, following its guidance and calling others to it. These people cast aside the Book of Allah and turned away from it. They chose misguidance over guidance and punishment over forgiveness. Hence, they are fit for nothing but the fire. And what can make them patient in facing the fire? Where could they get such endurance from? That, namely, what is mentioned above of just requital and being deprived of the means of guidance in the case of those who rejected it and chose something else is because Allah sent down the book in truth. And it is on the basis of the truth that the one who does good deeds will be rewarded and the one who does bad deeds will be punished. Moreover, the phrase, Allah sent down the book in truth, indicates that Allah sent it down in order to guide humankind and to distinguish truth from falsehood and guidance from misguidance. So, whoever uses the book for purposes other than those for which it was revealed deserves to be subjected to the greatest punishment. وَإِنَّ الَّذِينَ اخْتَلَفُوا فِي الْكِتَابِ لَفِي شِقَاقٍ بَعِيدٍ those who find a cause of disagreement in the book 
go much too far in opposition. That is, those who differed concerning the book, believing in part of it and rejecting part of it, or those who distort it in accordance with their whims and desires, go much too far in opposition, in opposition to the truth, because they have differed from the book which brought truth that dictates agreement, not dissent. Thus, they ended up in trouble, and their opposition increased and resulted in division. Unlike the followers of the book who believed in it and let it rule their lives in all aspects, hence, they were united and developed harmony on the basis of the book. These verses also include a warning to those who conceal that which Allah has revealed, giving precedence to worldly gain giving precedence to worldly gain of Allah's punishment and wrath, for Allah will not purify them or forgive them. The reason for that is their giving precedence to misguidance over guidance, which resulted in their choosing punishment over forgiveness. This is followed by a question, wondering how much patience they can have when facing the fire, because they were aware of the causes that would lead them to that. They also knew that what the book contained of truth should unite them, not divide them, and that anyone who went against it would stray from the truth and go much too far in opposition, and Allah knows best. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen.